Good morning. Carla Nicole. So I wanted to talk about um, an article I posted. Well, I wrote it, but I also posted it on Facebook this morning um, where I'm talking about, um, you know, learning about your own lover capacity. I think it's key to any goddess. Um, I think it's extremely important that you learn your own sexual truth about what you desire, what you want, what you need. A lot of times we don't have intimate conversations about what we desire, what we want, and what type of sexual um, connections we want to fulfill. I think sometimes um, as we age, we sort of learn some things about ourselves that maybe we didn't want to face young because we were under the understanding that you as a woman or young woman or young girl, teenager, should not even be concerned about your sexual truth. Learn about your sensuality, learn about your body, learn about your beauty. Um, currently, I think everybody kind of sees that, you know, um, for the longest time, uh, many people have only seen me as a coach. Um, and um, because of that, it's, it's kind of, I guess, uh, intriguing to see the new side of me, the more sensual side, the more um, feminine side, if you will. Being a coach requires me to be a little tough, but being sensual requires me to be a little soft. <laughs> and in that, you have to learn as a woman that in our softness comes our sensuality, and in our sensuality comes our exotic erotic side. And um, so it's important that we understand that although um, there could be many realms of different judgment coming from different ways, different people, different, different um, vessels, just uncomfortable with your sensuality or your sexuality because they don't want to see it or they don't want to, or lovers may not want to share it or, you know, it may make them uncomfortable. But the truth is, our sexual energy helps us to create. Without it, um, we become stagnant. We have to embrace our beauty. We have to embrace our sensual selves. Um, it's important and imperative. But getting back to um, your lover capacity, is important that you know um, that if you are very um, energetic, you have a strong magnetism. A lot of times um, you draw, you draw um, men or you draw women. Actually, you can draw both really, <laughs> but you can draw men's and male attention because they are intrigued by your sexual energy, your energy for yourself. So it's, it's, something that you learn i think as you increase your um feminine energy you'll know you'll notice that more um masculine energy wants to attract to you and that that comes with the territory i mean it's just what it is but um as a woman you need to know what is my lover capacity because if i have a lot of attention and i have a lot of male engagement High chances are you're going to have um, a lot of a lot of uh, sexual energy that is um, connected to various different people, um, especially men. So with that said, uh, the opportunity may increase your lover cap capacity. You need to know um, ahead of time what you can handle as a woman. And what I mean by that is um, having one man can be a lot, <laughs> a lot. Having, you know, multiple men can be enormous. <laughs> so it's important that you really read this article and really start journaling 
about your own truth. Not for anybody else's eyes, but your own. Unless you want to share it. Because sometimes I think we're more guarded when we become more open and honest about our sexuality. Sexuality, we want to be guarded because we don't want other people to judge. But when you journal, you can be open, you can be honest, you can talk about everything. Um, which I think is key when you're talking about um, just enhancing your sexual being. Enhancing your sexual being will improve your creativity, will also help you to tap in to your, I mean, your, uh, your, um, just your mere essence. It's going to help you to see, oh my God, this is where my true beauty lies. So um, think about what I said. I mean, read the article and just, just digest it. Go back and read it again. Take notes and then journal. Just allow the article to really just resonate because it helps you to then learn more of self. When you learn about you and you begin to love on yourself, you begin to educate what you need for yourself, sexually and otherwise, you start to see, man, I didn't know that this is one of the things that maybe I haven't paid attention to. Maybe it's something I should be more mindful of. And let me tell you, we neglect ourselves a lot because we focus on so many other things. We focus on our kids. We focus on our man. We focus on our, our, you know, our careers and everything else. But we never really sit down and say, what do I really need? What do I really want? What, what can fulfill me enough to where I'm able to really reign supreme in my spirit only you can answer that check out the uh the article make sure that you start following my blog it's called in the know on wordpress um and then don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel carla nicole wisdom channel make sure you share this video also and tag your friends because the more we learn about our sensuality about our sexuality and our sexual truth the better our life will be all right guys i'm out of here it's carla nicole i'm signing off best care